So today I'm going to start a new Minecraft Let's Play on the Java Edition. Today I got Java Edition thanks to Lucky Lane. He bought it for me as a Christmas present, which I was not expecting at all. So massive thank you to Lane. Uh, we've got the faithful texture pack on and we're going to make a new world. All right, so what the board name is going to be is Oakley's. Uh, oh, we've got to spell it a bit of a proper grammar, grammar, whatever. Oakley's Let's Play World Season 1. There we are. So it's going to be in survival. It's going to be on hard. Loud sheets. It's going to be off. Uh, that's all going to stay the same. World type, super flat, large biomes, amplified, single biome. It's going to be on default. Game rules. Everything's going to be the same. So that's all good. Experiments and data packs. They're all going to be the same. So can we change the seed? Like, we'll change. No. Mm, nah. We'll keep the same seed. So create new world. Nah. Oh, Minecraft Java Edition. I've never played this properly. This is actually really cool. We have a Christmas skin on because uh, I'm bad at making skins. So I just downloaded this for Christmas and then I'll work on my own. So first things first, we got to chop down a tree, which we will do. And since this is the first time I am playing Minecraft Java Edition, I'm not going to know all of the features. So please do make sure to tell me any tips or tricks of full java edition you know down below i've only ever played bedrock so uh this is a massive change it runs a million times smoother and uh what is it there's like so much better render distance and everything else so first we're going to make a pickaxe and i'm also just going to make a sword why does it go to the left we want it on the right um Right, let's break this crafting table. I'm just going to go around adventure and see if I find anywhere to settle down. Um, and then um, I'll be back with you. I'll also get us some food. Right, I found some stone here, so I'm just going to take some of this stone. Oh, Java feels a lot different to control, actually. I'm not sure why. I think it's just a better frame rate. I can see further. It's just like a whole lot better than bedrock. Oh yeah, and by the way, I got attacked by some bees, so that is the reason I am at uh, half a heart. So we're just going to get some full tools and a, uh, what is it, a, what is it called, a furnace, because we do need a furnace. I'm also trying to uh, not use this, the, what is it called, like the helping thing, because I just want to learn the actual recipes. <gasps> oh, getting an advancement, we made an achievement. Right, so yeah, I just wanted to learn recipes, just because it's good to learn them we got our sword and we have our furnace now we can cook some food just so i, I don't die where is it uh, we'll use our sticks i want to keep these two tools because they're mine mine to keep forever oh <gasps> no i died no oh no I, I think i remember the way we went i think it was this way over here oh yeah it was only over here it is fine where was it though was it I think it was over here actually. Yeah, here's my stuff. Off we go now, since I've got all of my stuff. Oh yeah! Can we swim? Thanks. Oh, we can actually get a bit more food if we kill these fishies. We get to. Uh, oh no, that's not an advancement. Um, uh, that is not an advancement. That is not an advancement. That's hard to say quickly. Nope, found some pumpkins. We will take these. These are always good to have, especially if I want to make a pumpkin farm. Which I probably will. As a bedrock player who's been playing since the aquatic update, I can definitely say that um, I've actually seen animals like born lots together rather than being on their own, which is like really cool because then you can get lots of food quicker. I haven't seen it in this world yet, but the ones I was like playing around on earlier, just messing around. Um, but definitely had more animals all together. Bedrock usually does. Also, look at my render distance, it's so good. I can't actually remember what it's on. It's actually on 20, so uh, that's pretty good. Like 20 chunks, and you can see all the way over there. Like on Bedrock, I can get about 70. Java's just not as advanced as Bedrock in some features, but in some features it's more advanced. Oh, where are we gonna go? Oh, there's a bit of coal down there, isn't there anything else? There's copper, can't see anything else, but I'll go down for the coal, because we'll need it. We don't have any wool at the minute, which is concerning, but it's fine. I'm sure we'll find some wool eventually. Right, let me just get some of this coal, and if I see any iron, I'll come back to you. And there is some iron over here, so we're going to take this. There's also some andesite. I really do like using andesite. It's a cool block. Oh no, the iron. Um, and I'm sure, like, 
any build you use andesite in it looks good oh cool i've got this screen the debug screen it's 120 fps uh we've got our coordinates what else do we have we're in a forest biome we're on day zero at the minute but it's turning tonight we have right i could want to make some torches quick so we're just gonna get that get that and put that in our offhand wait so how do we okay we just what is that uh, right click well i can actually see quite well Ooh, there's a cave that looks promising i think we're gonna go down there but i'm gonna get a bit more coal i'm just gonna grab a bit of iron probably half stack stack how much i can find i do not know but i'm just gonna take as so much as i can see and then we're gonna head back up to the surface oh actually i think just from this vein i'll be able to have enough iron for like everything i need that's annoying i wanted to go down in that cave we do have 21 iron we'd need a bit more but 21 is a good amount something else i have noticed is the placing distance or like the reaching distance is a whole lot lower than bedrock i know that's for like mobile so it's easier to build in there but it definitely is a change some lapis up there but we're just here for <gasps> iron oh no <gasps> oh i so <gasps> no no do i remember how to get back i don't know i don't think so my first day in java edition is not going well at all right i think we're getting somewhere i think it might be around here somewhere but i got distracted killing things i don't think i went over there i think i went over here somewhere oh i do remember those flowers because i was and these dogs so i was killing <gasps> yes Oh my god, I found my way back. I found my way back. Right, here we are. The place of my first death. Death, whatever. Day one happens, we're not leaving this cave. Is there anything we could take from here? Well, like, we could take everything from here, but is there anything we really need from here at the minute? I think we'll take a bit of moss, actually. Just a little bit of it, because moss is always a fun block to play around with. Oh yeah, also, uh, we're not getting diamonds on the first day. I don't like getting diamonds on the first day. So, we're not going to. So if you see them, we ain't taking them. Because I don't mean first Minecraft day, I mean like the first episode. To bridge over. And I know from videos that you cannot bridge like you can in... What is it? Bedrock Edition. So we're going to have to go like this, go all the way over there, which is going to take a while. So what day are we on now? We are on day one in the birch forest. So that means that that's going back on. And once we build a base, we are definitely going to be turning that on to a, um, what is it, turning it on to, oh, I can't think of the word. No, we're just going to lock it. There we are. It's, it's, it's late. I'm tired. Okay. Alright, so we've been going for about 25 minutes, which is probably like 20 ish minutes in uh, the video once it's edited. So, I think we need to just see if we can find a place and then settle down there. Because this video cannot be like ridiculously long because it takes forever to upload videos. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh no. We're going illusional. Illusional? Wait, is that, I don't even know if that's a word. How about we go on that island over there? Oh, I don't know. I don't know where to go. What to call home. Every world has to start with a house. And in this series... I'm going to start with a, where's that logs, right here's the planks, we're going to start with a um, dirt house, I just quickly need to put a few torches up, yeah, and then we're actually going to just, nope, it's going to be fully dirt, it's fine, I'll just get some more dirt, ah, oh, home sweet home, this is looking amazing, well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, I definitely have. In next episode, which will probably be out very soon, so I just want to leave this game loads. Uh, we're going to actually go find a proper place to call home. Because this place 
is not my home. Uh, what is it? What is it actually? Yeah, we actually haven't been playing too long. <sighs> we need to actually lighten this place up a bit more. Oh no, that's also dangerous. I thought that might be deeper than it actually is. Okay, there we are. That's light enough. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's sleep. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.